Let us assume that what we're looking for is a list of superheroes to work with. And so let's start off with just searching a set of superheroes. Now we're going to want to keep this somewhere. We're going to drop it in an email or we're going to keep it in a list somewhere. And one of the things which you could do is just use simple notepad to drop a list on. So let's go and see who can we find that can give us a list of them. And the Britannica.com website seems to have a decent list of names. Now, if I was to copy just some of the details from here and drop it in into Notepad, you'll notice that we lose a lot of this, the, the content. So we can't see what sits behind this any longer. Whereas over here, you can see that there's quite a bit of metadata which keeps track of, of entire websites that we could have visited about each of these superheroes. I can see that, and, and let's just drop this and ignore it. I can see that if I had to copy this in into a, a into a blank Microsoft Word document, um, maybe I'd get to keep track of the URLs. But again, I cannot, I cannot extract it easily here. The best place to start keeping track of this information is to say, well, maybe what I could do is drop it in into Excel. And if I dropped it into Excel, you'll see that I now have here um, all of the details with each one of them having uh, a, a URL link to them. Now, Excel itself does not have a normal function that says, give me the URL of that. To be able to find a URL, I've had to go in and create a function called URL which gets the hyperlink from whatever I pointed at. That URL will just pull out the address that we've got in here. And so if I was to delete all of this and just ask again, what is the URL uh, of whatever's in, in A1, um, it will be able to unpack that for me and show me um, what there is. Now, I, I at last now beginning to see that, yes, I've got data, and I can say, yes, what about if I had to insert a, this is this is a superhero name. Um, and and I'm wanting to keep track of um, what the URL is. Um, and I could format this as a, as a um, call it um, a, a, a table or anything else. But, but just for right now, let's take a look at this and say, I'm keeping track of some of them. N now, obviously, I'm wanting to be able to get out the name Ant-Man and the Wasp. I'm wanting to be able to make a bit more intelligence. So I'm going to take the lazy way out. I would copy this and just paste the content of that in there. And let's find out how long this piece of the name is. And that piece of the name is, let's see if I find out the length of, of that value. It is 33 characters so I'm I'm less interested in the first 33 characters I want you to know let me find out uh, what is the value inside of here starting at the first position and actually no starting at the 34th position and give me 100 characters because I don't know how long they are but it should capture all of them and so now I've got a list of details that I can work with. But still, this doesn't present itself well to me. I'm wanting to be able to say, actually, just give me, can I substitute the hyphens with a space? So I can say, give me a, just of, of the sticks over here, uh, give me wherever you find a, a hyphen, give me, a space and that makes a lot more sense to me now I've got data that I can work with so so this is the one I'm wanting to work with so now I've got a list and we've already seen now why Excel would be better than a notepad or Microsoft Word document manipulating it becomes so much easier let me show you what would be even nicer as well because we now have this 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 mechanism that we've got in front of us here uh, let's delete from here downwards um, 
And, 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 and another area which Excel becomes far better than Word or Notepad is to say, let's actually go and grab from the web where we had this data. Let's see what happens if I copy out that information and say, uh, let me use that URL and see if there's data that I can work with or did they just capture this as single lists of data as an HTML document. And yes, they've kept it purely as a document. Very difficult for me to analyze. Very, very difficult. However, there are many other places on the internet where they've unpacked it even better. So let's take a look at uh, of these lists that goes through, the one which jumps out at me, because I know I've used them before, is a Nanny McPhee's stuff. So Nanny McPhee, where is she? I know I found her previously. And so I've got her over here. Nanny McPhee, CODZ, has got a list of C superheroes already here, with as Ant-Man, with who he is. And this begins to look a lot more interesting. So let's copy out now Nanny McPhee and use that as a basis from the web to be able to see what data I can gather. Now, gathering data this way allows me to be able to actually sometimes subscribe to the data on the internet. And here you'll see there's the document. So I can look at a web view, yes. And I can go through it and identify sections. Or I can just look at the tables that are on this page and find that yes, there is one already. There's an entire table that I can load up here. And that gives me access to data that, that is always current because I can always refresh this connection. I can now take this data and say, I see that they've, they've got a, a, a label for some of them. So wherever there is a blank value here, uh, there's it's the team they belong to. But let's just sort them out, find all the blank ones which I don't need and just delete them because I, I, I'm not interested in them right now. And there's a, a list of, of superheroes that I've got. And these superheroes are now have the actual name. So the first area that we're looking at from just pure data management, which is phenomenal, is the ability to say, how do I manage data in such a way that I can subscribe to it and extract it and rely on its true source.